Hey, what's up guys? Tim right here coming to you with a very quick, quick, quick wristwatch review. I am here in beautiful New York City with a friend of the show. And uh, just yesterday, he got a brand new Royal Oak 15510. This is one of the most stunning watches that I've ever seen. Uh, you know, I thought 15500 was a perfect Royal Oak, but this one just completely crushes it. Crushes it! I'm sorry, but it just crushes it. It's got a lot of subtle improvements. If you take a closer look, you'll see that the dial has been improved. The logo has been replaced. Instead of having the AP applied and Audemars PK printed, this version has uh, a logo taken from the Code 1159 where uh, Automize PK uses a very special, special growing uh, metal technique where they grow logo atom by atom. It's quite a remarkable feat of engineering. And they also cleaned it up. Um, they re completely removed where it's automatic at 6 o'clock. So now you can see the, the Kant Pissary dial uh, in its full uh, glory. Uh, what I also find very very interesting is that the logo okay in this case Over this great dial from certain angles Completely disappears so you don't you don't even see it the logo. It's a very interesting effect and then it's at, at different angles It just pops out and you can see it in in uh, in its amazing glory Absolutely incredible. I love the the seconds hand the little detail on the back side of the second hand. The hour markers are huge, huge. And the, the way the, the hands touch the hour markers makes this watch extremely, extremely legible. The date wheel is also printed on the gray uh, backdrop. So uh, the dial matches the date wheel. It's a very good touch. The crown is screwed down. It's a screw down crown with uh, 50 meters of water resistance in this case. Uh, it uses uh, AP's uh, in-house automatic caliber with a 50 year anniversary rotor. So I don't know how long AP is going to keep this rotor on, uh, on this 15510. My guess is by the end of the year they're going to take it off and use just a more generic rotor. So this is going to be a very special watch, I believe, in the future. Now, another thing that has been improved uh, on 15510 is, and this is something I was told, is that the angles of, uh, of the case and its connection to the bracelet have been um, slightly changed to reflect the light a little bit better. Now, not that this watch needed help in reflecting light. It's already pretty perfect. I don't know if there is a better looking watch, but it's pretty cool that AP is paying attention to such a thing. Now, uh, one more thing about uh, the, the movement. Uh, this is a is caliber 4302. It is a beautifully, beautifully finished movement. Powering the Royal Oak uh, 15510 is caliber 4302 with some amazing finishing. Beautiful, beautiful uh, finishing on the case, as you can see. Now, it's also got 70 hours of power reserve, which is nothing to be sneezed at. 
uh, a very, very robust movement. This is the same movement that's used in code 1159. In that case though, they cut the date window at 4.30 o'clock, which is a really interesting way of using the same movement to give the watch a little bit of a different look. Um, now, this uh, this watch uses a double, uh, was it with the butterfly clasp with the fold over, uh, the AP fold over. Beautiful, beautiful detail on the on the bracelet. Absolutely extraordinary watch. Now, this was just a uh, quick look, quick, 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 quick look, because. Uh, a friend of the show uh, met me for a quick breakfast and let me take a look at the watch. We had the uh, we had a couple of drinks and it's uh, it's a great time. It's great, great time, guys. If you like this video, uh, please upvote. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the the Royal Oak 15510. If you liked it. If you don't like it, why? And. Uh, Watch the live show.